Okay, this is the scene where she gets sexually harassed by this dude. I remember Nova B coming here and being very triggered by this. Poor girl. I hope it wasn't too bad for to her. Is this part of the movie? Is this part of no. not the movie? I don't know. Sorry. No. I'm not wrong. What does a ten million dollar knife look like? It doesn't finish with a polite nod at the door. I want to feel like you appreciate it. I want you to be grateful. Understood. No. No. You can't. Okay. We're just getting started. You're making a mess out of your party dress. Let's get you out of that thing. No. Come out. Come out. I'm gonna wait out here all night. It's my birthday. Oh, wow. No matter how many I kill, there's always more. That line she just said. Also, great for a screenshot, right? Uh, that line she just said was an achievement, an Xbox achievement that I got. No matter how many you kill, there is always more. Yeah, this just returns us to the other scene. This secret clip once again, like I was talking about how every secret clip makes me think of something else, it gets mixed signals. This one, once again, makes me think of a theory that I had yesterday. That is, that she, as a reptilian woman, represents women throughout history. So, yeah, women throughout history have been expected to have sex with men. And also, women throughout history, no matter how many times they fight for their rights, there is always more sexist men. So, I don't know. Like, this just... Yeah, there are so many possible ways you could interpret this. No. So she, she starts with a no. Interesting. What does a ten million dollar knife? We're just getting started. Hmm, I don't know what to think of this. I really don't know what to think of this. You know what? No, 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 no. Let's... I want to focus on this dude. Just this once. Okay. There are more scenes with this dude. Interesting. Actually, is this later? Yeah, this is the last scene. Okay, okay, let's let's return to it later. So this is also a very interesting scene. Scene 55 Alpha, take four. Well, not really here. Like this is just blah blah blah. Nothing. She just walks in. The cat walks there. Blah blah blah. Wait, what does it say? Beautiful morning. Okay, it is. It really is.
Then she turns the TV on, and this is when the interesting starts. Just a normal lipstick commercial. Blah, blah, blah. Cartoons! A deadly combination with alcohol and a late night swim. The NYPD have refused to confirm the presence of drugs, stating they are unable to disclose the details of an ongoing investigation. Her body would be flown... That is... That is... Wait, no. That is her double. That is supposed to be her double. Like, you see how it looks exactly the same? Later today, where we'll head to the county coroner's office for an autopsy. If you're just tuning in, reporting on the death of pop star Maria at the age of 25. We're continuing our coverage with Dr. Morty Biggs, here to talk to us about this. Gary, it's, it's Heather. I know, I know. So all of this is part Heather, of the movie. Maria is dead. What? So this paper she's holding, I don't know. She looks shook even after the cut. Maybe because of this paper she read. Also, here comes John and hugs her. Why does, does he hug her? Did something happen outside of the movie? Like, let's see if there is a secret. Yeah, there is a secret scene. Oh, come on. There we go. What had happened to the other one was new. It pointed to a new possibility. Even as I was falling apart, I felt there was a way. How to be free of all flesh and become something more. Becoming free of all flesh is kind of scary, not gonna lie. That never ends well. Oh, that's all? Yeah, this is those kind of secret scenes that don't have any, 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 don't even return to the original scene. Tarmac, later. Uh, I don't need to listen to this, so let's just look for secret scenes. Wait. So let's play Gary here is uh, revealing the worst of the commercial exploitation of the artist. Could you guys have a costume fitting now? We'll be back here in an hour or so. So this is all this all ends. Who owns your movies when you die? Studios? Mm -hmm. Except for this one, we are fully funding this one ourselves. Just a random question, but interesting, because he's supposed to be dead, so story if he is. I mean, it's a gift that Maria gets to see how people talk about her after she's dead. She sees that the music, the fans, they feel something. But Mark, Gary... The men in her life... The men in her life, they didn't love her with any authenticity. Maria's rebirth is a chance for her to plug into that authenticity. So let's play Gary here as uh, revealing the worst of the commercial exploitation of the artist. So this is what the... The game is on the outside, without all the reptilian people. It's a game to portray that actresses are exploited commercially, or artists in general. However, then the whole thing about reptilian people starts and yeah, it just gets crazy and ridiculous. And I don't know, like, I still don't understand what is happening.
Let's see if there is a secret clip here. Nope. Okay. Uh, I don't remember this scene, so... Oh yeah, now I remember, okay. People have all wondered what it is to mourn yourself. Go beyond death and look back at existence as a stage. <laughs> I love I, I love his expression, like... What are they talking about? <laughs> People have all wondered about what it is to mourn yourself and his face, like... Go beyond death and look back at existence. To go beyond death and look back at existence at a, as a stage. <laughs> I love this little detail, that was amazing. Go on the billboard. Yeah, here? Does she look like it's a bad wig here? Like, I, I don't have an eye for this, so please help me, Raka, if you're here. Like, is this... Can you see that it's a wig done wrong? Because here I feel that there is... I, like... I don't know. Okay, okay, well... I don't know then. Okay, never mind. Uh, I, I thought I thought this was different. Never mind. I, I th for some reason I thought that the wig from the other girl was wrong, and this girl was right. Or maybe like, yeah, because since there are two girls that are supposed to be the same person or or are are interchanging themselves, like they are constantly making it seem like uh, one is the other and the other is the first, and yeah, they are interchanging roles. Maybe one of them always has a uh, wig done wrong and the other one has the wig done right? I don't know. So yeah, she's looking at her like, yeah. I think her billboard is being removed because she died. So she's thinking about... So, the other girl in the movie, she's not able to swim. So she being like, yeah, that's why the dive in is important. Because it made her realize that she actually cannot swim. So she would have never gone in the water willingly. Interesting. So this is all inside the movie this time. Inside the movie, apparently the, her friend has been killed because she doesn't know how to swim. Apparently I know very little about wigs. I mean, I have never interested myself in them or I have never paid too much attention or done research. But still, I didn't realize there was like my eye was so lacking in those kind of things. And I hate not knowing something, so I guess I will have to, I don't know, get better. I literally want to know everything in the world. Action. Yeah, she's not responding, she's just there. Yeah, there was something weird here. Okay. And there is a secret scene. A completely dark secret scene. Okay. I made some movies. With each one, I tried to make it perfect. I thought about them intensely. People liked them. Some thought them cold. 
I missed the other one, and I wanted to make work that would have pleased him. But this medium, the transmission of the message was far greater and far more precise. I wanted to make the case for humanity, and uh, I allowed myself to think I was part of Wait, 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 what? No, oh, damn it. This medium, the transmission of... The transmission of the message was far greater and far more precise. I wanted to make the case for humanity. And uh, I allowed myself to think I was part of it. So was the, did the reptilian woman make, make more movies than just the ones from Marit? I don't know. Oh, this scene, yeah. This one is the first one that... Uh, one of the first secret claims that I found. Yeah, because here we can see that that Marisa Marcel is like... Yeah, all, all dead and stuff. Scene 74, <laughs> all dead and stuff. That's, that's an amazing expression. That person is all dead and stuff. I will use that when someone dies. Yeah, they are all dead and stuff. So is this also a wig or this is, is this her real hair? Like, I don't know. Like, and her hair looks normal. It's always that hair. I haven't I haven't seen her with any other uh, hair. He won't be joining us. Do I know you, Isabella Hessenberg? And I know who you are, Heather. You really look nothing like her. I don't want to talk to you. I think you should. We're both after so, the same thing. Uh, inside the movie, she knows that the both girls were interchanging the roles, and she's the wife of Mr. Hesenberg or Andrew, which I think Andrew was the uh, white-haired dude that was trying to harass her. So, like, I don't know. Um, yeah, so... What? We want to know what happened to your friend. Yes, so she know, uh, this woman knows that her friend died. And they want to find out. It was an accident. But you don't think it was? I've been married to Andrew for a long time. It's a complicated relationship. Legally. Morally. So this woman is the wife of the rich dude. In previous scenes we have seen them talk together. But I guess... She has talked to Heather, the girl that is now dead. Hmm. And once again, in the secret clip, well, you will see that this woman turns into the reptilian man. You think Andrew had something to do with Maria's death? I've seen what it looks like when power goes unchecked. I don't know if Andrew remembers what it is to be human. Have you told the police? How do you think I found you? stepped in before any of this reached him, but you don't want him to know you're poking around. Well, what are we supposed to do? Well, that's complicated. Is it? I hope that you find what you're looking for. Good luck. Wait, where are you going? Here we so, you can see here that she starts being in pain. Here, she closed her eyes, and here she's in a lot of pain. Wait, where are you going? Wait. 
Now she's out of breath. Yeah, and John never is never there. Yeah, John is John is never there. Yeah, I I see that you missed the last Sunday. Yeah, we we saw this this scene for the first time last Sunday. It was it was definitely eye opening because I think it's the first time that we that saw something happening to her. But now, now we know that she, as in the reptilian woman, is constantly like being bad health-wise, or yeah. And you can see the that woman turns into the reptilian man. So I don't know; it's very weird. And this is her. How can your head start bleeding like that? That's a very good question. It's too much. That's an interesting line. Well, all of those are very interesting lines. Don't let this happen. It's okay. What does... What does all of that mean? No, wait, 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 wait. Come back from this. Not again. Let me die the way you died and I will be more. I think it has to do with the reincarnation because since they get reincarnated all the time, maybe she needs to die and reincarnate into someone new and then she will be healthy again. Mm, I don't know. And this turns into... Yeah, this turns into the normal scene. Okay. Scene 75 through 80, rehearsal. Okay, we've seen Maria skip the line and get admitted to the club. We cut inside and see Andrew and Isabella in the VIP booth with an entourage. Isabella whispers something to Andrew, and they both laugh as a waitress arrives with a round of drinks. Now, out of the corner of your eye, Andrew, you look here. You see Maria. Okay, so he's he's confirmed Andrew. Maria. Interesting. She's checked her coat. We truly see her now. She looks like a goddess. And she dances. That's the wife of Andrew. Interesting. So, yeah, this is the rehearsal, so I will not play this, but... Let's see if there are any secret scenes here. Doesn't seem like it. Oh, wait. There is a secret scene. I love this music. Oops, I hit my mic. <laughs> I don't know what the dance scenes have to do with the whole reptilian story, but it's very artistic, very beautiful. I don't know. Just Sam Barlow with this game, like... This, this game has impressed me very much.
I would like a closure, however. I would like something to explain everything. I need some kind of, like, ending of for the story, but... Yeah, we already got the ending, we already got the credit scene, and it didn't explain anything, so... I don't know. Beautiful, but once again, doesn't explain anything. Yeah, it just goes back to the scene. Oh, this is the last scene completely. Scene 81 rehearsal? For now, of course. I'm sure there are more scenes we missed. Maria finds Andrew alone in the back of the limo. So basically, just so you know, this is all... They are, um... They are our, uh, filming movies. So all that we see here are, um... Are inside the story of the movie, so it's not actually happening. Scene 81, rehearsal? Yeah, they are rehearsing a scene for the movie. Maria finds Andrew alone in the back of the <laughs> You forget to... Yeah, it's... It's normal. I like how you dance. Please. Yeah, this is very uh, comfortable, of course, but it's inside the movie. So... They are filming a movie with those events happening there. What the hell is happening with this camera? takes out some drug pills and takes them. Her name is not Christina. Kinky, but at the same time, no. <laughs> it would be kinky in other circumstances. If he had no money and uh, no power. Okay, the, the glass is empty. Will they CGI the drinks in? What? Right. What did I just take? Really? <sighs> Wait, so... Okay, so here is the cut. So they stop right. recording here. And he asks... What did I just take? What? what? So if he took candy, why does he feel weird? Okay, now that's... This has happened already in one of the last movies when the actor thought he was taking fake drugs, but she... Marisa Marcel gave them real drugs, so the actor was, uh, well, lied to, or maybe, uh, yeah, he just was given real drugs instead of fake drugs. 